And finally, we are back. Episode number six. Welcome everyone. Standing in Normandy's main CIC. I'm Gabriel, and today we're going to speak with some people. Starting with her. This is Kelly. Kelly Yulman Chambers. He's one of my favorite characters in the whole series, actually, um, because when the first time I played Mass Effect, when I played Mass Effect One, uh, I thought about about it, and I thought that someone like this might be useful. Uh, she will basically tell us exactly who she is. I'm Yeoman Kelly Chambers. I've been assigned as your administrative assistant. Mm, I'll that's your exactly who she is. Help you monitor the crew. And I must say, it's such an honor to work under you, Commander Shepard. Uh, the thing with her is, um, she is sort of a non-romanceable alternative for those people who don't want to have a romance option. Uh, I have a plan for Mass Effect 2 when it comes to the romance options, uh, but it's for me it's it's hard to be a, a dick or a bitch, depending on your gender, uh, to her, because uh, she's quite fun, uh, fine, She she's basically in a place where she doesn't actually belong. Uh, she doesn't know it maybe yet, but uh, you know, she's caring, empathic, very... Mm, a very adorable character, very uh, empathic, which means, of course, she she's able to relate with people. She's here to help us deal with the stress, things like that. Uh, she's she will we will finally know that she uh, she is a psycho psychologist, uh, which means she tries to understand people, uh, and it's always good to have someone like that, especially uh, considering things that are happening in the world. Uh, you know when soldiers come back from war, uh, they have this uh, post-traumatic stress and things like that. Uh, and we are in the middle, we're on a warship trying to, to uh, do uh, a very tough mission. And her presence here uh, may be comforting for a lot of people, for Shepard as well. So I will try to be uh, as nice to her as it's possible and that means we're going to flirt with her more or less. Anyone can flirt with her and it's uh, it has no penalties. Uh, I even remember a post on a Bioware forum that says uh, quite clearly why she's there. She's sort of an is easter egg uh, for other... For, for people who want... Uh, who have a, a different approach. So yeah, pleasure is all mine. More or less we have to be quite good with these people, even if they believe to be Cerberus. I'm glad to have you on the team, Miss Chambers. Please, call me Kelly. Uh, of course she wants to uh, shorten the distance between us. Fine. Okay, Kelly. Anything else? Uh, to do. I can ask her about how's the crew. She's a sort of a marker. Uh, she tells you when someone wants to speak with you. But let's you chat. To talk? I always have time for you, Commander. Nice. Uh, hmm. Yeah, what do you think about Cerberus? This organization has a dark reputation. Do you have any concerns working for them? Not I don't at all. think so. Our methods can be harsh, but Cerberus has noble objectives. We look out for human interests, advance human technology, save human lives. They're good hmm. goals. Really? Uh, she's kind of idealistic when it comes to this. Doesn't see. Uh, quite exactly uh, what Cerberus well what Cerberus will become it sounds like Cerberus wants to dominate all aliens and put humankind on top a Cerberus little bit looks out for humanity but that doesn't mean we hate aliens my sister started a dog shelter but she loved cats too I love okay humanity. I also love Asari Quarian Turian Salarian Hanar that isn't in conflict with Cerberus ideals We'll see about that, but uh, the most important thing is, uh, I don't think this uh, dog-cat uh, uh, metaphor she, she gave us is quite okay. Because when you think about it, cats are much more... Uh, are, are creatures that are much more uh, self uh, set on self-preservation. Self-preservation. Cats can and are able to live uh, outside uh, of human... Uh, protection. Uh, I'm not saying that dogs uh, don't do that as well, because they do. But the thing is, with dogs, it's much more... Dogs are very easy to connect with, with, a, with a human. Uh, cats, they will always... You, you know how, how they say, what they say about cats, so... I'm not sure that's the best way to describe this, but let it be your way. 
You're quite loving, aren't you? That's a very positive attitude. What can I say? I'm a people person. And that's Anything why you're here. Like to talk about? Uh, to do... Yeah, that was what do you think about Cerberus and tell me what... Are you happy here? <laughs> it's a nice question. How do you feel about being assigned to the Normandy? I was handpicked by the elusive man to help fight the greatest threat known to humanity. Oh. How do I feel? Honored. Self-picked. Terrified. Personally Mostly picked. I feel encouraged. Under your leadership, we can't fail. Well, we won't fail, but the thing is, um, if she was actually uh, set here as a yeoman for Shepard by Elusive Man, it's not that easy to trust her when you first time play this game. Because, you know, uh, there is this, yeah, he's spying on us and he's doing his things. So, doesn't. Uh, there is a, you know, a little bell that rings there and says, be aware. Don't worry. We'll defeat the Columbus. Of course we will. I trust you implicitly. The moment I met you, I knew I could close my eyes, fall back, Aww. and you'd be there. Really? She's so loving. I might do more than catch you, Kelly. Oh. Now that's an enticing thought. As I said, Anything else you'd like to talk about? And the final one is... What do you do? Yeah. What are your responsibilities? I'll keep you notified of any messages or appointments you might have. Mm -hmm. If any of the crew has important business to discuss, I'll make sure you know. Isn't Fine. that type of task better suited for a VI? Yes, but being your yeoman is just my official role. Yeoman. <laughs> Everyone knows how risky our mission is. Many of us may not is be it? coming back. That's a lot of pressure. I have a degree in psychology. I'm good at sensing when people are overly taxed. Hmm. Cool. Then you're a counselor. Counselor. I don't think that's the correct way to, to, to describe her role. You make sure the crew's mental health is sound. Yes. Cool. I look for warning signs. I listen. It's not a full-time job, and it's most effective when done informally. Fine. So I don't have to pay you that much money. I can pay you half-time job, not full-time. Maybe. I don't know. We're lucky to have someone with your skills, Kelly. That's for Thank sure. You, what else would you like to know? What's most important is that this ship is full of people who aren't... I better go. Exactly, oh. uh your typical guys. They are basically talented... Uh, no, sorry. I want to go speak with Jacob first, since we're already here. What? Not here? No, tech lab, sorry. There. You know, this is a place we need the best people. We need the best uh, army equipment, we need, be we need best people and best uh, everything top level. Commander, mm -hmm. there hasn't been time to really settle in and take stock. I want to say that working with you is a great opportunity to do something that matters. It's okay. a privilege to serve on the Normandy, Commander. <laughs> we can play a little rougher with him. Well, he he's a new one special, to be honest. Uh, I'm quite sure there's a lot of guys like him uh, in somewhere, you know. Miranda, perfect body, perfect uh, uh, genetical material, uh, Joker, best pilot, uh, AI, ED, ED is herself very uh, high on our list. And you, Jacob? No. You're here because you're Cerberus. Don't expect special treatment. Understood. But not everyone in the group is hardline. Okay. I'm an employee because I believe in their current direction. Okay. Doesn't mean I don't have concerns about their past actions. Or some of yours. Oh, do you have you concerns me about me? That suits you? Yeah, what do you mean, service actions? Tell me about that. And I think we're stuck somewhere in the middle of Jacob. What has Cerberus done to make you nervous? A lot. They've okay. Been called terrorists, and with good reason. Doubt you can find a more checkered past. Mm -hmm. But if the collector threat is real, and we do something about it, Cerberus will be remembered differently. <laughs> if anyone we'll will know. <sighs> can't count on people thinking about it as hard as I have. Alright. I won't say do your job nothing more. Uh, because it's not a good way to start your relationship with uh, a crew member if you just bully him around. It's good to hear a clear opinion. Sounds like we're two of a kind. That honors Something like you, that. Commander. Let me know if you need anything. And don't salute like that. Jesus. <sighs> I hate when people salute uh, like that. Uh, why? Because, pardon my French, this is shit. 
this is a American way of uh, of saluting and we in Poland we have a different uh, it's forbidden to salute if you have a uh, if you don't have something on your head uh, it's better if it most better if it's a hat with a uh, little yeah it has to be a hat because saluting to your to, to nothing there's nothing there to salute to I'll maybe do an interlude about this about that make an interlude about saluting and why I hate when people salute like Jacob did that's a mark for us uh, Miranda she's the final person I have to visit and then we will start flying around whoa you have a cabin right hmm. looks nice <laughs> I wonder yeah the, there's no, no toilet so sorry don't have the best I have the best uh, cabin in the ship commander what can I do for you yeah what do you know about the Normandy anything I should know regarding the Normandy the crew's working well and the ship appears to be performing to specifications fine and you're why you're here right? yeah what exactly are your duties aside from keeping an eye on me I'm the elusive man's agent you're his most important asset my job is to make sure you succeed aside from that mm -hmm. I send regular reports to the elusive man updating our status spy you're a spy so he has now let's see he has an AI that sends a report to him he has a, a genetically perfect agent who sends a report to him most possibly someone on the ship is also reporting to him and I'm his asset I think uh, the elusive man thinks uh, Shepard is a item more or less yeah can we talk do you have a minute Miranda no doubt you've got a lot of questions of course I do Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe if I can help allay any of your concerns I'd be happy to do so so okay what would you like to know mm -hmm. what is the goal I know what we're doing here but what's Cerberus's long-term goal yeah the advancement of the human race nothing more nothing less it's the quite Solarians a lot have the special tasks group the Asari have their legendary commandos for stealth and recon operations. Uh -huh. Cerberus is humanity's answer to those <laughs> organizations. So it's our response, you believe. What do you mean by that? And now we can quite clearly see that Shepard is gaining... Samantha is gaining scars. But those organizations are regulated by governments. Who keeps Cerberus in check? Nobody. We're privately funded, and our backers trust the elusive man to make the right decisions. Ooh, ooh. But he's very clear about our goals. Protect humanity and serve its advancement. <sighs> At some point that will go horribly wrong. What is Cerberus? Are you military or political? Or both? Both. Cerberus has several divisions. Political, military, scientific. Mm -hmm. But we're all working towards the same goal. The teams you encountered before your accident were mostly part of our military division mm -hmm. but not all Cerberus operations use the same protocols we try not to get bogged down in bureaucracy or formality and that I can appreciate do you have any resources yeah what kind of resources can you do? does Cerberus have we're very well funded though I doubt anyone other than the elusive man knows exactly how well but our resources aren't unlimited reviving you and rebuilding the Normandy was a significant investment and it will and pay off risk but We're all hoping not we for Cerberus. <laughs> no pressure. Really? And who the hell is this guy with glowing eyes? What can you tell me about the elusive man? Not much that you don't already know. Mm -hmm. Even I don't have access to most of his background. And you've seen more of him than most ever do. It's rare for him to become directly involved in missions, but you're something special. I think our Whatever mission is special. Say about him, I can assure you he's got humanity's best interests at heart. That hm. includes you and me. Yeah, and that means, yeah, you, me, and who more? How can you be sure of that if you know so little about him? I didn't get to where I am without knowing how to gauge people's motives and ambitions, even from brief encounters. He's no saint. That's why she has a admit, talent. But he is committed. Humanity couldn't have a better advocate. And who the hell are you then? Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Well, I guess that's fair. I've She's spent the finally last years more human than, than when we were well, in the Lazarus you project. Know that I've had uh, scientific 
Well, not my decision. Something. But I make the most what was that station? Yeah. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. <laughs> genetically modified. What level of genetic modification are we talking about? That's very Every. Hard. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. That's My perfect. biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Add to that some of the mm -hmm. best training and education money can buy and... Well, it's pretty impressive, really. <sighs> You're quite cocky. You certainly don't lack for confidence. It's mm -hmm. just a fact. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks, they're all designed to give me an edge. No point in hiding from it. It's the reason I'm trusted to oversee the most dangerous, risky, and technically demanding operations Cerberus undertakes. I like the reconstruction. And it's why I was assigned to you. Oh. It's my job to yeah. make sure you succeed, Shepard. Good. Thanks for the information, Miranda. It's good to I'll know to who we deal course, here Amanda, with whatever and you need. who we have to work with. Not much more here. So let's go upstairs and fly our way. And the big question is where should we go? Let's see. Our journal might be helpful when it comes to this. Stop the collectors, we have to assemble a team. That will quite that will take quite some. We have the veteran, Dossi on Zaid Masani, expert in physical and small unit combat. Ah, we actually need him. Uh, yes, we will take him because uh, he's good. It's it's good to have a big team, uh, but uh, it's not my favorite character when it comes to Mass Effect 2. Uh, the council, we can go to the council. That's for later. Professor Morden Solus. Now this guy is a interesting one. Solus is a solar and biological weapon. Expert whose technology may hold the key to encountering collectors attack. Light weapons training. Special STG guy, okay. Warlord, Millennium of Combat, Dr. O'Kear. Strategic experience rumored familiar rumor says that he's familiar with the collector technology. There's also Archangel and the Convict. Jack, no last name, exceptional biotic abilities. Uh, Archangel would be a nice uh, idea. Of course, I know who he is, don't worry. He's a small unit tactical expertise, omni tool expert, and noted sniper. Mercenary commander who's operating are noted for their technical ex exercise and strategic brilliance. And yeah, find him, we need to go to Omega. I want to find him first because. Omega is a nice place to start, that's one thing, because we're already here. <laughs> oh, flying around, we need to buy a little bit of fuel, that's quite sure. And we'll also buy probes already, why not? We can fly around, explore Normandy's crash site, things like that. That's quite a lot of ex galaxy to explore. Unlike in the first one, this exploring in this is a little bit simplified. But recruiting Archangels right here. This is Omega. Building a mined out husk of a metallic asteroid, as Omega has been haven for criminals, terrorists, and so on. Let's talk in this this place. It's a sort of a it's a hub. It's a place where we'll visit this place a few times. It's a nice place. Uh, when it comes to when someone is looking for adventure, but it's not that good when it comes to uh, safety. Basically, this place has safety issues and is ruled by criminals. 